Hello and welcome to my channel fellow Valheim decorators. Today I'll take you through all the banners you can make in the game and we'll go over each of the recipes to craft them. Banners are a great way to decorate your builds and add a touch of color to your walls. And with the last couple of content updates, a few more colors have been added to complete the rainbow of soft furnishings to add to your cozy Viking longhouse. We have 12 banners and curtains to go through, so let's get started. First thing to note is that every banner has the same two materials needed to craft it, two fine wood and six leather scraps. To that, you will need to add different materials and ingredients to dye them in your color of choice. So let's start with the easiest and most accessible one, the black banner. The black banner, in addition to the base materials of two fine wood and six leather scraps, only needs four coal. And coal, as you probably found out quite early on in the game, is pretty easy to produce. In fact, most of us probably made the mistake of overcooking our meat and ending up with lumps of coal. Of course, later on in the game, once you're able to make a kiln, you're able to produce so much coal that those black banners are very readily accessible. The next banner up, a lot more colorful, is the blue banner. The blue banner only needs four blueberries on top of the base materials, making it quite accessible for a very rich royal blue color. The next very colorful one is the red banner, and for that you need to go into the swamps and harvest blood bags from leeches. Fortunately, the red banner only needs one blood bag on top of the base materials. And while you're in the swamp, why don't you harvest some guck to make some green banners too? There again, you only need one guck per banner. With the summer 2022 patch, we got three new colors added. One of them is this yellow banner with a black trim, needing four dandelions for the yellow and two coal for the black. The purple banner is quite logically a mix of two ingredients, blue and red. So you'll need two blueberries and three raspberries to make it, making it quite accessible there again. To obtain this rich orange color, you will need two carrots and three cloudberries. And finally, to complete our plain banners, we've got the white banner, which also has a black trim like the yellow one. And for this one, you will need four cloudberries and two coal. Next, let's move on to our striped banners. These also need the same base ingredients of two fine wood and six leather scraps. Weirdly enough, the red and white striped banner only needs four raspberries. No cloudberries, no other ingredients, just four raspberries. In contrast, the blue and white banner needs two ingredients. It needs two blueberries for the blue and three cloudberries for the white stripes, which is kind of weird considering the red and white one doesn't need any cloudberries at all. And then finally, this banner, which has red, blue and white stripes, has three ingredients, two blueberries, two raspberries and one cloudberry. So there is a little bit of inconsistency here, but a good way to memorize it for at least the two banners on the left is that you need two blueberries because you've got two blue stripes, two raspberries because you've got two red stripes on this one, and here as many cloudberries as you've got white stripes. So one for this one and three for this one. It of course doesn't work for this banner, which is a bit of an anomaly. And when you look at all the other ingredients, as soon as there is some black in it, uh, you'll have coal. So for this white banner and the yellow banner, and of course the black banner over here. And all the other ingredients or materials needed are basically anything that has that color. So carrots for orange, mix of blue and red for purple, dandelions for yellow, guck for green, blood bag for red, kind of makes sense. But since the cave update, banners and rugs weren't the only items we were able to craft in terms of soft furnishings. We now also have the red juke curtains over here. And as these are curtains and not banners, the base ingredients are different. So for this one curtain panel, you only need one fine wood and four red jute. No leather scraps needed at all. And that's it. These are all the banners that you're able to craft in the game as of October 2022 before the Mistland update drops. Do you think we'll get more banners and curtains with the new Mistlands update? I really hope for more soft furnishings. I'm really hoping for cushions as well, so we've got more things to decorate interiors with. Oh, and for those who are wondering, I've used a couple of handy mods to achieve these table displays. The mod I'm using to place any items on item stands is Item Stands All Items mod by Yerikusela. 
What I've used for the signs is a combination of Gizmo Reloaded by Tierenheim for the additional rotations and Colorful Signs by Tekla to change the color of the text. That's it, thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you let me know and subscribe for more Valheim content. I regularly stream, but I'll also be posting more videos like this where I go over categories of items you can use to decorate with to help you visualize them. And let's be frank, remember they exist. I have been Gwen the Shield Maiden. Until next time, bye bye.